All right, we get right into the work week with a continuation of the beautiful weather we had over the Easter weekend. All of us still in the 60s for the most part. Cavalier, it's 59, 63 in Grand Forks and Valley City this hour and off to the east plentiful 60s as we have fairly uniform temperatures across the area. There's Interstate 94. Look out to the west showing a line of clouds out there, but nothing falling from them. So very quiet conditions for the entirety of our area expected this evening. A quick look at your numbers. At Hector, we have 64 degrees. The humidity fairly low with dew points close to 40. Uh, winds still fairly robust at about 15 miles per hour with a northerly component which has limited some of our warming throughout the afternoon. A band of clouds associated with some cooler air trying to punch in behind those northerly winds, mainly around Lake of the Woods. A couple of sprinkle drops possible there. Elsewhere, it's very quiet. Here, we have to look down into southern Minnesota, just south of the metro area and into northeastern portions of Iowa, where we have stronger showers and thunderstorms taking place. Some of them have been severe, crossing over into parts of southern Wisconsin, as well as Illinois and even Indiana as we head into the evening hours. So take a look at this out in Colorado in the elevated terrain, cold enough for flaky weather. I cannot promise we won't have flakes in the forecast. Let's get to your numbers for tonight, though. First and foremost, get out and enjoy because the evening should be very pleasant. We have wind from the north at about 15 miles per hour. And once we get closer to sunset, that'll start subsiding a little bit. Temperatures slipping to near 50 for most of us overnight gets a little cool. So you start your day off needing that jacket. We'll have a few 30s out there and possibly some areas of fog in and around Lake of the Woods. After that, though, the midday forecast looks fantastic. If you do have plans to get out for lunch, do so. It'll be the nicest time of the day because we won't have much wind to worry about in the early afternoon. Watch the left side or western part of Hutch's map here as we set this into motion. We see all these wind arrows plastered all over the map. The wind starts picking up late and notice this clouds increase as well, but not until these south winds start punching temperatures very close to 70 degrees here in the Southern Valley for the afternoon and some of those warm temperatures making their way up north. Now those clouds, I cannot rule out a spotty shower or maybe even a rumble of thunder as we go through the evening, but that'll be few and far between. Most of us enjoying very breezy but mild conditions for your Tuesday night. In Fargo, plan for a chilly morning around 38 degrees. We warm up though by 30 degrees in the afternoon. We'll kiss 70 winds. 15 to 20 from the south in the latter part of the day. A lot of near 70 degree readings from the valley and points to the west and a lot of mid 60s for you in western Minnesota. Tiffany capturing a very colorful sky this weekend in the Comstock area. Now let's talk about this. Two, count them two, great days of near 70 degree weather. Mike, it has been since September 22nd since we've seen 70 degrees here in the FM area. Then we start going downhill a little bit and on Friday night into Saturday, some much colder air brings a good chance of rain. And dare I say Sunday night into Monday for our northern counties, a chance for a few flakes mixing in one week from now. I wouldn't say it, but that's what you get paid to do. Okay. <laughs> okay.